Frontline employees are the backbone of the hospitality industry. Those individuals who consistently provide high quality customer service, plus go a step further to wow a guest by rising to an unexpected occasion, pulling out all the stops and making sure the incident is a positive and memorable one, are recognized as hospitality superheroes. Presenting the 2011 Hospitality Superheroes! <laughs> On a Saturday in June, a young woman had lost track of her friends after a baseball game. Chris noticed her at the front of the hotel, alone and possibly intoxicated. Concerned for her safety, Chris stepped up to see if he could help. Through Chris's assistance, he was able to gather her personal information and determine that the woman was not a Weston Hotel guest, but staying at another downtown property. Chris asked the manager on duty for permission to accompany the woman back to her hotel in one of Weston's cars. Once at the property, Chris placed her in the capable hands of that hotel's security officer. For helping a woman in distress, Chris Franz is a 2011 Hospitality Superhero. A guest had traveled to St. Louis to conduct employment interviews at the Sheridan Westport Hotel. The interviews were to start at 9.30 in the morning, but at 9 o'clock, the gentleman was down at the hotel gift shop as he had forgotten his tie. Finding there weren't any ties in the shop that matched his suit, Gina stepped in to help. She jumped in her car and drove to a nearby store and purchased a coordinating tie, returning to the hotel just in time for the guest to conduct his first interview right on schedule. He offered to pay as well as give a tip, but Gina refused, stating it was a gift from the hotel. For being the best personal shopper, Gina Fayek is a 2011 Hospitality Superhero. Many of the guests of the Parkway Hotel are patients of a nearby hospital. A guest and her daughter were in town for the daughter's neck surgery. When the guests returned from the hospital, the mother mentioned to the front desk staff that she was unable to secure a high back wheelchair from the hospital. Now this type of wheelchair could have made her daughter a lot more comfortable. Joel overheard the guests lament and quickly went off to the engineer's shop. By cutting a few pieces of plywood, wrapping them with some towels and securing them with just a few screws, Joel created a support allowing the guests to rest her neck without worry or strain. For being a Mr. Fix-It, Joel Martin is a 2011 Hospitality Superhero. As a night auditor, Randy works the 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. shift. Now, early one morning, frazzled parents came into the hotel. Randy learned that these were the parents of a recently abducted and found little girl. Through conversation, Randy learned of their very traumatic night and thought these folks could use a break. First off, he asked for and received approval to provide the night stay at no charge. Then, after his shift ended, he drove down to a nearby drugstore and purchased toys and games for the kids with his very own money. When the mother was presented with the basket of goodies, she was touched by Randy's kindness. For touching a mother's heart, Randy Means is a 2011 Hospitality Superhero. While on break during a convention, Willie came upon three ladies in distress. The women had packed up their exhibit booth materials, but found the boxes were much too heavy for them to carry. So Willie assisted by getting a cart and loading the heavy boxes for them. Then the women asked if he could take the cart across the street and load them into their car. 
After receiving approval to leave the property, Willie followed the ladies and placed the items in their car. They were so grateful for his help. For coming to the rescue, Willie Dixon is a 2011 Hospitality Superhero. While Crystal was inspecting rooms on the fifth floor of the hotel, a guest came running up from the parking garage on the fourth floor. The frantic guest explained that her car had been broken into and that other family members had the thief trapped in the car. Crystal sprang into action. She radioed for assistance to the garage from the maintenance department and the houseman. She then contacted the front desk to call the police. Crystal then went down to the garage to provide any additional assistance. The police were quick to arrive and took the man into custody. For knowing service doesn't stop at the front door, Crystal Donald is a 2011 hospitality superhero. It was Good Friday and storms were about to hit the area. Sergeant Moore was on lunch break and away from the airport but could tell that something serious was brewing in the sky. Tornado sirens were blaring, and Tony went into action and initiated the emergency response for the airport. He called all his officers, giving them the directive to move passengers to safety. This provided officers enough time to move passengers inside the terminal just minutes before the tornado hit. When he returned, he walked Concourse C and informed the airport authority that it was too dangerous and should be closed. For knowing that service doesn't take a break, Tony Moore is a 2011 Hospitality Superhero. Amanda and Amy were riding the elevator with a family and learned through conversation that they were often in St. Louis since their son was being treated for cancer at a local hospital. The ladies made two observations. One, that the little boy wore a Cardinals t-shirt, so must be a fan. And two, the mother commented that they felt like they, quote, lived in St. Louis since the family traveled so often for treatment. Amanda and Amy hatched a plan and immediately got to work making phone calls for a package including a Cardinal Build-A-Bear, candy, popcorn, a hotel stay, baseball tickets, and a personal meeting with Fred Bird. The ladies presented their treasure basket to the family who, of course, were extremely touched by their thoughtfulness. For brightening the day of a stressed family, Amanda Bradham Little and Amy McIntosh are 2011 Hospitality Superheroes. Each of these individuals is an exceptional employee each and every day, and their specific moment of exceptional service really wowed a St. Louis visitor. St. Louis is fortunate to have these individuals on our team. The St. Louis Convention and Visitors Commission gratefully recognizes their role in making St. Louis a successful destination. Thank you. Thank you.